Thank you for trying our Image Analyzer tool. In this short video, I will explain how to use the tool and how to read the outputs that you'll see after uploading an image. So let's first upload an example image. After you've uploaded your image, the tool will provide a size in inches where the PPI will be 150 pixels per inch. This is kind of an acceptable PPI for printing, but not ideal. In an ideal world, you'd be looking for a PPI of around 300. The reason we provide a size for 150 PPI is because this, in most cases, will produce acceptable printing results. So it gives you a sense of maybe the maximum size you can print your image at. Then you can work back from the maximum size to see what you'd need to reduce to get to 300 PPI. If you modify the measurements to centimeters, do note that the tool won't automatically update your dimensions, so you'll need to start altering the sizes based upon centimeters and see how this impacts the PPI. So for example, if we change this to centimeters, the inputs didn't change, hence the PPI has risen quite sharply. So what we can start to do is we can start to increase the size of the image. So this would allow us to get to a size of 31.8 by 47.7 would allow us to print at a PPI of 300. If we want to print larger than this and we want to see how that impacts the PPI, we could start to increase the size. And maybe we look at what would be the size that we could print at for 200 PPI, for example. So we could print at 47.7 by 71.54. So also note that these two are connected to one another. So we're trying to retain the ratio of the original image that you uploaded. So if you change the height, the width will change in accordance with the ratio. Likewise, if you are changing the width, the height will change as well in accordance with the ratio of the image. So some things to keep in mind. 300 PPI is the ideal scenario, but there are many cases when you can print below this resolution and still get great results. I generally say anything above 150 is likely to be okay for most people, but of course you can feel free to check with us. Typically, the larger the print size, the lower the PPI you may be able to get away with. This is because the larger the print, the further away you are likely to view it from. As viewing distance increases, you typically need to worry less about the finer details. For smaller prints though, with lots of detail, you may want to get to 300 PPI. There is also a software that can help to double, triple, quadruple the size of your original image. And that can help you get to 300 PPI without drastically changing the image itself. However, there is sometimes some limitations around how far you can push this without starting to impact what your image actually looks like. But the point being, there could be situations where the size that you would like to print at is showing you a very low PPI. Um, generally, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to write off the image. Um, you might be able to leverage software that would allow you to increase that size and get a higher PPI with acceptable results. So if you're not sure how to do that and you're looking to print with us, then you can always get in touch with us and we'll be happy to look into it for you. Hopefully this guide has been helpful and uh, hope to hear from you soon for any printing requirements. Thank you.